Once your song captures your musical ideas, you will want to make it ready to share with others. Song Tricks has many tools to refine both the sound performance of your song and its presentation for printing. Our example song is Rondo a la Turca, a famous piece by Mozart. Because it has been created on screen, all the notes have perfect timing and duration, and they are all the same velocity or loudness. This sounds a bit mechanical and expressionless, as musicians simply don't play like this. We need to add some random variation called humanising to give it a more realistic feel. But first we need to convert the rhythm and drum tracks. At the moment they are both based on a repeated two-beat pattern. This made it possible to sketch them out quickly, but now we need to render these into real events that can be humanised separately. A handy way is to join each track into a single long segment that contains all of the events. The track menu has several commands for making adjustments to your song. Our first step is to humanise the timing. This can be done separately for each track, but here we will do all tracks across the entire song. Then we choose how much randomness we want to add. Too much will make the timing sloppy, but a sixteenth or twenty-fourth of a quarter note usually gives a good balance. We want to apply to the locations and durations of the notes. Back in the workspace, we see the melody events have all been shifted slightly, some forward, some back, and the music already sounds more natural. All events still have the same loudness, but we can change this with Velocitize. As before, we adjust all tracks for the entire song by humanising the velocity with a variance of up to 20%. You can see this variance by the different shades of colour between the notes. Now to the rhythm track for a final adjustment. Although the event locations have been humanised, their tones are still played exactly together. We can improve this by selecting them all and changing them to human chords with staggered starting times. The song now has a freer and more relaxed feel. As a finishing touch, we can create a rallentando or slowdown by adding a tempo change across the last few bars. Here we choose a gradient change from 160 to 80 beats per minute and you can hear how it creates an impression of finality. With the musical performance finished, we may want to extend it with real vocals or instruments. Songtrix does not have audio tracks, but by exporting to MIDI, you can transfer songs to other audio production software, either as a single file or as one file per track, whichever works best. The other destination of a song is printed sheet music. Let's switch to Staff View and explore some adjustments that we can make there as well. Songtrix has already generated staff notation for the song. To reduce ledger lines, tracks are sometimes notated up or down an octave. Where this occurs, a small 8 symbol is shown above or below the clef. With the rhythm track, for example, we are seeing it on a treble clef shown an octave above true pitch to make it fit neatly. Down here, we could change this to a bass clef in which case it is now shown an octave below true pitch, or we can see it on the grand stave with both clefs, where the wider range can accommodate the notes without octave shifting. Another important control is the resolution, or the size of the note lengths that are shown, measured in fractions of a quarter note. It's important to get the right balance. Not enough resolution will cause short notes to get merged together, like these two here whereas too much resolution will give us complex notation with meaningless detail if there is any humanisation in the timing of notes. A fourth of a quarter note is a good starting point, but you may need to adjust this to suit the song. You may have noticed there is a large number of accidentals, and this often means we have the wrong key signature. This song has no key signature, meaning the key of C, but the notes C and F are being consistently sharpened, which suggests that we should be using the key of D. We change this in the song setup 
from the controls page. Now the sharp symbols are appearing in the key signature at the start of each line and the notation itself can drop them and become simpler and cleaner. We may also want to change the key of a song to suit a particular instrument or vocal range. Song tricks can do this with the transpose function. For example, we may want to take all tracks of the entire song and transpose them up by an interval of a flat second, or one semitone, to the key of E flat. Song tricks has now adjusted the pitch of every note in the song and also changed the key signature to suit. The subject of keys and transposing is well covered in the How Music Works tutorials. Song tricks can also transform songs between straight and swing timing. At the moment we are using straight timing where each note has an equal length. But we can use the swing eyes function to convert the notes in all tracks to more of a two thirds to one third rhythm, giving us swing timing, which has a jazz feel. We find the notation of the song has changed, but there is a problem. Our resolution of a fourth of a quarter note is forcing the lengths to be represented with dotted and double beam notes, which is a 3 to 1 ratio instead of 2 to 1. Swing timing is sometimes notated this way, but it's inaccurate and should be avoided. We can properly represent the triplet nature of the timing with a resolution of sixth of a quarter note. We now get the correct 2 to 1 ratio but it's untidy because most of the notes now have triplet symbols. The best solution is to change to a compound time signature, such as 6-8 or 12-8 with song convert meter. Because these divide beats into triplets, for 6-8 this is 1-2-3-2-2-3, they are perfect for swing timing. Now the notation is clean and accurate. Let's play the final production all the way through.